fits my foot exactly. See? The foot said, you know, the fragment. I've gone through a number of these shoes, so. I first got to see Robin's work years ago in New York as part of a, a small group show, and it was captivating. Robin was born in 1976 in Cape Town, South Africa, so that was still at the very end of the apartheid. So in the post-apartheid era, all of a sudden, very different images and narratives become available. So you suddenly have the Spike Lee films and you know advertisements about Michael Jordan and so a very different image of success and accomplishment for a young man of you know color or multiracial background um, than anything that had been available before. My generation was becoming influenced by hip hop. My generation was becoming influenced by graffiti. My generation was being influenced by, uh, 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 you know, by sport that was quite foreign to the South African experience. In high school, I was my role to 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 be the artist. You know, I played that role, and that I guess was the starting point um, in terms of engaging with the subculture and having an, an insight into the subculture while remaining a kind of voyeur. I could reinvent it and offer a new perspective into something which is familiar to the subculture itself. So this is always this kind of exchange. It's not a performance in a traditional sense, but a way in which he is acting in three-dimensional space and then he is uh, engaging in the illusionism of a drawn object and the entire process is then photographed. So you get this conflation of, uh, of spaces. Just to take an example, if you uh, have this whole context of urban poverty being surrounded um, by street crime and other such things and then um, you look at an ordinary object like a bicycle and it be becomes this object of desire so one of his earliest pieces is just the simple drawing of a bicycle on a wall and he's attempting to get on it or push it away maybe steal it maybe simply getting hold of that object so it seems something very simple um, but it gets at a very different reality Sometimes one's best ideas are based on activities that we enjoy doing. I, I always feel like if I should make a work about that which I enjoy. At the time I was playing basketball, and at the time I was playing basketball, not on a basketball court, but on a netball court with no backboard, but just a steel pole and a steel circle. So the PC got game became this point of desire, the point of actually being able to not only do a front somersault slam dunk, but just to be able to have the game function as a kind of dreamscape to, to the impossible. In preparation for the exhibition, I was able to visit uh, with Robin Road in his studio in Berlin, and it was uh, fascinating to see um, the many uh, pieces in his studio. There's so many different layers in his work uh, that there is a huge appeal, I think, on the one hand, to people of a younger age who are really steeped in contemporary popular culture and can relate to his work on that level. And it also addresses itself to those people concerned with art historical issues, the way in which abstraction and illusionism then take on a completely different meaning. It really depends what you bring to the exhibition, and if you come with an open mind, um, chances are you will leave inspired and with many new ideas.